welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to make a 3d projection of your z stack in image j once you've opened your z stack image like here i have my z stack image both the fluorescence and the bright field channel you can go to image stacks and click on the 3d projection you can leave the parameters as they are and remember to tick this interpolate uh, option i will show you the difference in what the view will look like when you use the interpolate and when you do not use interpolate first let's do with interpolate and click ok So here we have a 3D projected sample. If you notice, it uh, make the 3D projection for different uh, for the channel separately since they are also separate here. They are not they weren't matched together. The next thing for us to do in order to have this type of uh, sample where your fluorescent sample is showing is shown uh, inside the bright field. You go to the projected the 3D projected uh, sample and sp split the channels. Now you have the two channel independent of the second one. And I'm going to give this uh, channel a color since it's a fluorescence color. Let's just choose something. Yeah. Or oh, let's make it magenta yep and we have here our bright field channel then we go to image color merge channel so we're going to merge them together the red channel is the magenta so i'm going to leave it as the c1 and we don't have a green here and our gray channel is the bright field channel we click ok as you can see now we have a fluorescence image in the bright field uh, image and it's really cool because you can see the position of your sample of your fluorescence image within the objects it's really cool and once you've uh, projected your sample as 3d the second thing to do is to save as avi i'm going to save it to the, my desktop because the channel is about 36 um each channel has 36 slides so I'll let it play as a uh, four frame per second I click ok I'm going to save on desktop okay here we have that and I'm going to make another one without using the interpolation so I'm going to go to stacks 3d I'm going to untick the interpolate option and you will see why you should interpolate your sample say can you see those lines when you use the interpolate option it's smoothing the line the space in between the frame in between each slice together so can you see the difference here this is why you should uh, take the interpolate option because you don't want to show this uh you don't want this um the space in between the each uh, slice to be too obvious you can see the even the image is not as great as when you use the interpolate option so okay i'm also going to split this give it a color this time around let's choose a different color yellow and let's match them together color match channel oh that's because i click the ignore uh, source channel so it's kind of not right because there was no uh, yellow channel that was why i changed <laughs> now i have the original back in okay so that's it so simple to do 
so here you can see it's really obvious when you have your sample at 90 degree you can see that the uh, non-interpolated sample looks like that and the interpolated one look like this and i can open the saved one that we made and you see very easy if you find this tutorial useful please click remember to click the thumb up button thank you